I like I like point and shoots sometimes because they have this like a uh, element of uh, surprise in the end. Nice. So, so, so. So you can go F11, F8, 5.6, 2.8. I'm going to switch it back to uh, P mode, which stands for professional. Professional <laughs> mode. Professional mode. Oh. For the professional street photographer. Am I doing this now? Yeah. I'm, I'm back. We're going all artistic integrity. I'm doing this. I'm talking about gear again. I'm here with my friend Will. Say hi, Will. Hi, Will. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, I'm just I'm just here in in Tenjin in Fukuoka for a couple of days, and I just felt like I'm in the, I'm in the mood again to make videos, to make YouTube videos. I don't know what it is, but uh, gonna give it a shot. I'm back. It's Britney, bitch. <laughs> Let's go. It's Britney, bitch. So yeah, today, Rico GR1S. I just got this camera last week. Uh, I've been eyeing it for a really long time. And it was just a matter of finding one at a good price to uh, condition. And yeah, by the way, this this series is very conversational. It's just very talk talk and try not to take it so seriously. You know, try not to be so uh, concerned about uh, every point that I say because, you know, cameras are... Cameras are like paint brushes and I'm the paint. Something that not everybody agrees about. You know, it's a matter of opinion, what, what points you like and you don't like. So. Uh, try not to take this series too seriously, but we're finding out today. We're trying to find out today. Can it street Rico GR1S? Can it handle the rough and tumble roads of Fukuoka, Japan? One of the most friendliest cities in Japan. At the end of the video, I am going to talk at home a little bit more and Hi everyone, this is the ranking part of Canon Street. This is the tier list. If you want an explanation about how the tier list works more, you can check out the introduction video that I have as well on my channel. So uh, check that out if you want more details, but this is the uh, ranking portion. So please watch this video to its end. See this is the way. This is the way. See my opinion, hear my opinion, feel my opinion respect my opinion or don't i don't care this is me having fun on the street determining is this a camera that can street and how good can it street how well can it street where does it fall on this ranking so like i said stick with me to the end we'll find out where this camera lands all right thank you very much see you in the future in the end we can find the perfect street photography camera the best street photography camera in the world that I think is the best street photography camera in the world. Cause look at Gaga, she's the creative director of Polaroid. I like some of the Gaga songs. What the f does she know about cameras? For some of the people who maybe they don't, they don't know me, I've been doing street photography in Japan and the US for many years now, I think almost a decade. I'm very passionate about it. I love it very much. Cameras, uh, cameras are a big part of the uh, equation when it comes to doing street photography. Uh, a lot of people, th you know, say that there's the old, you know, 
phrase, gear doesn't matter. But this is a very situational, a very, uh, how do you say? How, 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 what, do you, what do you think about the, the phrase gear doesn't matter? People who say that already have very nice gear usually. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they are, true. They, their skill level and their gear are already top notch. And then they say, right. oh, gear doesn't it matter. It doesn't matter. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because I, yeah. I, I, my, my opinion on camera gear is for quality wise, like photo quality wise, gear doesn't matter. It's more about the use of the camera, like right. how the functionality. Functionality, yeah. Right. How easy is it to use for a specific type of scenario? Yes. So more about like the actual user experience. Yeah. That's what changes the most for me for camera bodies. Yeah, and then using using the camera in the right genre that that camera is best suited towards. You know what I mean? What's nice is this flash, mm. this flash here. You're using the flash uh, during the day? Yeah, I'm using the flash. I've, I've taken a few shots with the flash. You can just switch it right here to no flash or automatic or flash on. And then you'll have a little light here blink for the flash when it's ready, which the refresh time is pretty good. It's not bad. And then you can go at it. Oh, see what's that? Not, not quite uh, Shibuya crossing. <laughs> oh, did I mention like, comment, subscribe? Did I mention that? Maybe it's the four minute mark already. At the four minute mark, that's when everybody clicks off the video. Really? That's statistically. For me, and I think a lot of other people, it's like four minutes, people click off the video. If you're going to do that, at least like and give a yeah. comment before you, uh, before you fuck kind off. Of, kind of like your half-life, half-life yeah. of the video. Yeah, like yeah. Half of the people have left by the yeah. four-minute mark. Yeah, well, it's usually like once I put a meme up, then like 90% of the audience is gone. Confusion of the highest order. No, I'm just kidding. I think a lot of people actually like the memes. Yeah, so I would, I would if you like if you like the memes that I put in my videos, then I would come for the photos and stay for the memes. <laughs> <laughs> so when I got this camera, it didn't it didn't really have display issues, but you can see like okay that mode looks looks fine. That's like a landscape mode. That's a spot um, focus mode. Uh, but then snap mode, when you look at it from the top, you can't see. But when you look at it from an angle, then you can see it's there. And for like a day, you couldn't even see the numbers. And then uh, somebody said online that if you keep the unit on for like 20, 30 minutes, then the display will come back to life slowly. And that's true, it, it came back to life. So first day it was like perfect. Second, third day, like almost nothing on the display, like dead. And then just this past day or two, I've been uh, bringing the display back to life by just keeping the unit on. So that's kind of one of the concerns I had with this camera is that the um, display, they have issues with this, with this camera, with the display. Yeah, it's an old film camera, you know what I mean? And then you have to worry about who can repair it. Yeah. Is it repairable? It's got cool features. It's got aperture priority. It has the snap focus mode and the GR1S, I believe it's two meters. Uh, by a default and it's non-adjustable and then the 1V uh, GR1V you can actually adjust the snap focus distance for zone focusing range focusing that one's adjustable like one two five meters I think it's adjustable but this one is is always two meters so you can go f11 yeah, f8 5.6 2.8 it's yeah. a 2.8 lens 28 mil 2.8 so that's like my home I love I love 28 millimeter in Tokyo especially in Fukuoka in this city I kind of more like 35 
but um, in Tokyo, when I'm in Tokyo, I like 28. Is it because like there are more people and you can get closer? Exactly. So like that guy, like he was just going by. I just I snapped the the shot. Uh, I wonder if I got it. It's a uh, it's a Friday afternoon here in Fukuoka. It's not bad. It's been it's been a year since I shot here in this city where I used to live. I'm on uh, Fuji 100, ISO 100 film. Using the flash is nice, but if it's really sunny, it's good. So I don't have to use the flash. It's just, it's so easy to shoot, you know? Do you want to give it a try? You want to give it a shot? Inconspicuous, Inconspicuous yeah. Inconspicuous, yeah. Because uh, it's so, so small. I mean, almost when you're shooting people like from very close, it almost looks like you made a mistake. Right, right. Like, people are, I, I saw like a few reactions, like people are like... It's... Did he just take a photo? Uh, ah, probably not. It's very inconspicuous. <laughs> how, how do you hold it? Like, so I would hold it like this. With my you could do that, yeah. I like shooting with the sum actually. For, wow. Uh, for street photo. It looks even more like you, you're just like holding your camera and not even prepared to shoot something. Right. So you can just like go... Right? Yeah. That's what I do with the, the mic on also. It's like lighter than a, than a smartphone. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's lighter than an iPhone. Yeah. Take photo? Where are you from? Korea. Korea? Oh, I'm gonna say Show me your skills. <laughs> him, him. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Wait, bye, -bye. Why didn't, didn't it didn't work earlier? I think. Uh, maybe you took uh, I just snap like, mode. I just like pressed. And I changed happened. the mode. I changed the mode okay. to uh, the, the spot focus. I tried shooting them like street style uh, just before. Yeah. Like, and nothing moved. Oh. So, what was so it's this? the camera's fault. I pressed. I don't know. I felt nothing. <laughs> so, so what do you think? As a portrait photographer, would you use this camera for your portraits? I, I don't know. I haven't seen the results. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. Good. Oh, I'll, yeah. I will reserve judgment for that. But for portraits, maybe not. Yeah. For the white, mm -hmm. white -ish. Yeah. Very white. You'd want to get your subject in the center. Yeah. Of the frame, so there's no distortion. But also, I noticed that you see the see the little hood. In ah, the finder. Really? Yeah. I haven't actually noticed that before. Yeah. You can take the well, hood off. You never use, you never watch the finder, do you? Uh, yeah, I hardly actually <laughs> you're yeah. Like, you're, like, thing. you're like shooting like Yeah, I don't I don't use the, the built in viewfinder yeah. optical viewfinder. So when I tried first of all I tried I was like, no, it's not here, okay. Um. <laughs> yeah. But it does it does have a nice optical viewfinder. You know, it's not too bad. It's not it has bad. it has frame lines. You have, yeah, you have the frame lines right. going around, and you can see a little bit of the. Let's see when I take this off here. Hold on. Okay. How about now? Still a tiny bit, but it's fine. Really? Oh, okay. I'm gonna switch it back to uh, P mode, which stands for professional. <laughs> Professional mode. Professional mode. Oh. For the professional street photographer. Yeah, I kind of missed him. <laughs> Alex is in stalker mode now. <laughs> I lost him. Yeah, there's yeah. there's a certain point where it's yeah. like you you follow somebody for like maybe a half a block around the corner and then it becomes a little it becomes a little creepy yeah where it's like ah uh, <laughs> also i'm getting older like if i was younger if i was like five years younger maybe <laughs> i would have i would have like ran right, up right after me but yeah. uh i'm getting a little older a little <laughs> yeah tired. i remember you took it to tell me about like running in front of the person and then yeah to try to cross the pass again <laughs> right 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 yeah 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 <laughs> that's that's one way, you know. <laughs> but I'm getting a little too old for that shit. I don't know. <laughs> They're watching. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I'm a famous street photographer. <laughs> you know this meme. Yeah, yeah. In the yeah, they, yeah. They have no idea. They have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's so great that um, these days not a lot of people are wearing masks anymore. Yeah. It's, um, it's very much turning, turning back to normal here in Japan. And uh, with that comes more photo opportunities of people showing their emotions, showing their facial expressions and these kind of things. And it also presents more um, challenges in different ways of being selective in who you take photos of and, and uh, what the situation is. And like kids, for example, should I take photos of kids? Well, it should be a nice situation, you know? I'm a, I'm a father, you know, and like, I have a kid and I have a wife and kid, and so I have to be selective with uh, kids on a personal level. It's like, would I want a street photographer to take our photo in this situation? And uh, sometimes yes, sometimes no. And it's a feeling, it's a feeling that you get, you know what I mean? It's like, I feel it's appropriate, I don't feel it's appropriate. Uh, yeah, I struggle with this all the time. It is, it's a delicate situation. But that's, that's why I like street photography, because there's a, there's a challenge to, to that delicacy. I like, I like point and shoot sometimes because they have this like uh, element of uh, surprise in the end. When I shoot like one of my Lycos or whatever, like I'm in complete control. We could use this for Rojo Project. Uh, tonight I'm doing Rojo Project, which is uh, made famous by Tadashi Onishi of Void Tokyo. And uh, he gave me his blessing to do it here in Fukuoka. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm gonna be taking photos with this camera for the next couple days. So today and tomorrow, I'm gonna to be taking photos with this camera. So the photos that you see in this video come from this camera over a couple days, maybe a week. I, I can't, the only thing I can't comment on right now is the image quality. I'm gonna com comment about the image quality at home later when I'm reviewing the photos. Color match, color match. Uh, no, come back, come back, red bikes. Uh, I wonder if I got that. Yeah, top down. Uh, I didn't, I didn't want to flash, but I flashed. <laughs> Oops. In a small city, uh, people notice you with a camera more. Smaller city, right? In Tokyo, I definitely get away with having a bigger camera and people pay less mind to you with a camera. But in a smaller city like Fukuoka, they pay more attention to everyone because you can see individuals more clearly. How would, how, how would... Medatanai. Medatanai. Like, you don't stand out, you don't stick out. Yeah, okay. Right? Medatanai. Okay. Se no. Nice. Ja, mo ichimai. Mo ichimai. So, 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 so. Timing. Say. Thank you. Remember this? Damn, good old days right here. This was this was my favorite spot right here. I just I just love the just the, the feel of this area. Akuma ah. Cafe. This is the, 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 the bare hand. The bare hand that goes from, from a hole in the wall, it comes out and they, they give you a copy. Oh. With a, like, That's inside of here. Yeah. There's a bear. There's a bear, yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit, uh, a little bit mm, of... intimate. Yeah. <laughs> Got some uh, private time with a bear. <laughs> it's a glory hole for coffee, okay? <laughs> めっちゃかっこいいと思って。ありがとう。時間大丈夫ですか？写真撮っていい？いいですか？ここでいい。ちょっと。
もつ鍋,鍋,鍋もつ鍋食べたいなぁ考えて。I got, I got, I got seven more shots, seven more. But I, I feel like, I feel like I said enough okay. about the camera, right? So I'm gonna take it back to myself at home. Okay, so here we are, end of the video, and it's time to rank the Ricoh GR1S. What did I think about this camera? I thought it was amazing. It's a shame I don't have it anymore. That's right, I don't have this camera anymore. Confusion of the highest order. I really did like it a lot. I think it's an amazing street ca street photography camera, uh, except for one issue that you might have seen in this video, and that is the top display, the display that has the counter and the settings and the information, that kind of stuff. That's kind of important. You can see the frame counter. You can see how many shots you have left in the camera. Yeah, you know the display on this digital film camera, you know, this digital autofocus point and shoot film camera. Uh, so ultimately the display was very inconsistent. It went out randomly and I wasn't confident that this camera was gonna keep working. Emotional damage. I had just bought the camera uh, about a week or two prior and I was still within the return period, within the return, you know, uh, window. So I, I returned it, I returned the camera and I thought, you know what? I liked the One S a lot, but the GR1V has different uh, snap focus ranges. And that was kind of appealing. I didn't learn about that until after I bought the GR1S actually. Once I learned about the V version that you can select snap focus ranges, I, like, I got kind of jealous. And I was okay with the two meter snap snap range. I thought that was actually fine. And that's what I use with my GR3. I use two meters uh, or 1.5. Uh, so that was a range that I was comfortable with anyways. And as you can see in the video, I got the shots that I want. And that was the most important part. But uh, is the GR1V a better camera? Maybe, I should get my hands on one. Uh, I do like this camera very much. I do think it's really great. I think that ultimately it's an A. It's an A for me, it really is. Because when you're talking about a street photography camera, you want it to be light, you want it to be uh, fun, you want it to work, you want it to have good uh, photo you know, quality in the end as well. There's a lot of different things to factor in. But ultimately how the camera made me feel was really good. Uh, so that that just puts it into an A. Yeah. Anyway, can I have a little sound effect? I think I did really good there. Give me a little sort of explosion. Oh, I love that. It was like sort of being in the middle of World War II again, you know? Sort of the artillery raining down on the ops. Good times. Uh, ultimately, it's not as reliable. So, um, you know, I could, I could rank it as a B. But in the end, I loved it. It was fun. So if you get one that works really well, keep it, treasure it, use it, uh, maybe baby it a little bit, but uh, yeah, I think the camera gets an A, gets an A from me. Uh, what other point and shoot camera is literally that small with a great lens and is, you know, not crying for attention, not screaming out, you know, has that legacy behind it too and looks really cool as well. It has the flash built in and a viewfinder built in. I mean, and multiple settings and yeah, snap focus. Ah, so good, so good. Which is why the, the GR3 is still such a great camera and uh, why I will be doing a Canon Street episode for the GR3 as well, because this range of Ricoh GR cameras is amazing. I'm a big fanboy of it. So therefore, A. All right, thank you very much for watching everyone. Stay tuned to the next episode. I did, you know, pocket that money that I you know had from this camera I returned the camera I got my money back so that means I bought something else right <laughs> yeah I bought something else something else to replace the Ricoh GR1S something that uh, gave me a little bit more confidence on the street and I will explain that to you in the next episode of or two or three uh, we'll see we'll see but you'll know you'll know all right 
Thank you very much, everyone. I'll see you again. Stay humble, stay cool. Get at me in the comments about why I'm wrong or whatever. Stay humble. Goodbye. Like and subscribe, comment, or I won't make any more of these videos. I promise you that. I promise you that. All right, like, comment, subscribe, view, share, okay? All right, stay humble, goodbye.